hello, hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. This is Sam Utari, and we are just kind of finishing up some things um, with the village hello. quests. We still have some five-star stuff, including Tigrex, Diablos, and then I guess we'll just kind of like finish off with one of these guys over here if we don't get anything else going on. But we're going to go ahead and start with Tigrex. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, I just drank my coffee. So. Careful out there. I needed it this morning. Like, I really needed it this morning. Rainy weather always makes me super tired, so... Let's see here. And I have a busy Saturday ahead of me, so I'm just kind of trying to squeeze in this video before uh, I get to work on anything else. And also, I've really been wanting to play some more Monster Hunter, so... Um, like I said, videos are going to kind of slow down because we're just, uh, we're getting to that point where really I'm just going to be grinding uh, to get monster parts, make some new weapons, um, that sort of thing. So kind of just wanted to get into this like last little bit um, before we try anything else. Anyways, as you already know, now that we've eaten and we've chosen our quest, it is time to depart. A deafening roar rolling over hill and dale. The weak flee in fear, but the strong prevail. On the snowy mountainside, white is drenched with red. When the ancient tyrant hunts, all are filled with dread. Tigrex looks really awesome, but the thing is, is like, I always saw Tigrex more of like a, I guess like a desert creature, and not so much a freaking, uh, not so much a Frost Plains. I kind of forgot that, uh, he was even in the Frost Plains, so I was kind of, kind of confused, honestly, when I was watching the video just now. I haven't seen these cutscenes in forever, mind you, so, because I think it was like a whole, whole year ago that um, my friend Roto bought me Rise um, for the Switch, and then I bought it uh, on Steam, so... On sale, mind you. Thing is, is like I'm really not opposed to buying games like twice or even three times, just depending. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of games that I've bought multiple times. Like Okami HD, um, my friend Greer, um, it was one of the last gifts that she got me. Um, before she passed. I had it on Xbox One, um, but I rebought it for Steam so that I could eventually play it for you guys. Um, I have uh, Alice Madness Returns that I bought twice. I've bought Bioshock probably three times um, because I had like the classic ones and then I bought the HD um, edition multiple times. Um, Borderlands 2, I've bought it multiple times. Uh, but yeah, there are just, there are just some games, like, Near Replicant and Near Automata, bought it multiple times. There are just some games that if I really, really like them, like, why wouldn't I buy them? So, uh, it just, I like supporting companies and that sort of thing, and, and yeah, if the game's good, I mean. Did you see me? Is you taking a nap? I found our oh my goodness! I wonder... Hmm. How close can I get to this thing? No! Damn it! Ugh! Ruin! I was gonna freaking... I was gonna put a barrel bomb and like explode him. Oh, that would've been so cool too. I probably should like... I know I set Ruin's behavior to, like, pincer attack, but I wasn't even attacking the monster. This thing was sleeping, so... Woo! Now, does Tigrix have fire? I kind of forget. So this is one of those examples of, this is a dinosaur with wings, like, clearly is not a dragon. Um, I don't know, at least to me it seems that way. Whoa! Man, this guy hits hard. Whoa! Um... 
probably should have taken my uh, armor armor uh, tonic for this, my armor skin. Ah! Oh, I know that Tigrex is a pain, though. He's super fucking fast, super fucking strong. And this tiny little ledge is not doing me any favors. So I'm gonna take this moment to... Whoa. done like no damage to this guy but yeah um anyways when it comes to games that i really really like i don't have any problem whoa oh my god oh my god you do the glowy thingy um but yeah i have no issue buying a game multiple times um if i really really like it i love supporting companies that i think make good products um you know, and especially if it's a game that I enjoy, like Okami HD, like Okami is one of my favorite games, um, which is why my uh, Palamute is wearing the Amaterasu skin. Man, I forgot how much of a pain Tigrex is. It's all over for you. Like, I knew that there was a reason I don't really fight these things very much. Yeah, no, his constant movement is just fucking annoying. Alright. This'll do for now! Yeah, I'll say at least now we can get some hits in. Jesus. So there, there are games that I've bought, like, multiple times. Um, as for Rise and Sunbreak, um, I honestly bought it a second time. Not really because I wanted to play it again. Because, I mean, if I'm being honest, um, Monster Hunter is really fun. Has a lot of replayability if you're wanting to, like, learn new weapons and stuff. But the truth of it is, is, like, once you reach a certain point, like, where I am, where I'm Hunter rank 100-something. Ooh, Berioth, hello. Um, once you reach a certain point, like where I am, where you're like hunter rank 100 plus, master I rank 50, etc, 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 um, the gameplay for me, personally, and this is just my personal opinion, of course, the gameplay for me starts to become a little stale, um, Some humans could just because you. I, uh, Take you know, this. I, you kind of just run into this, like, you run into this thing where you're just doing the same thing over and over again because you really are just trying to get monster parts, and you really are just grinding for gear. Um, I'm not really the type to challenge myself, like, to experiment with different weapons unless I'm unhappy with the weapon that I'm currently playing. I know some people will be like, okay, I fought this creature with this weapon, and now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna do it with this weapon, and whatever. Um, but I'm not, I'm not really that type. I like the longsword, I like the insect glaive. Like, I tried the hammer, didn't really care for it. Tried the greatsword, didn't really care for it. Freaking, um, obviously, like, tried the blowgun and the bow and things like that, didn't really care for it. So, it really is just one of those things where it's like, I've tried all these different things. Um, it's like, I've tried all these different things. Um, uh, uh. Um. And so, it's like, I don't know. And then once you get, like, layered armors and stuff, and you have your, like, loadout, and you don't really have to change anything, honestly, unless you are changing your loadout or want to try a different loadout or want to experiment, then I don't know. You just kind of, like I said, you run into this thing where you're you're doing the Some same thing. From you. Nice. Now we have our healing horn, which is really nice. I am not even gonna get mad about that. Stop Wonderful moving for two freaking seconds, Tigrex, please. This is gonna hurt. Oh yeah, it is. 
But yeah, so for the sake of the story, like, I'm obviously replaying Rise, and because I had a friend that had it on PC and she wanted to play it with me, um, if it wasn't on sale, I probably would not have bought it again, just because I've already beaten it, and there are other Monster Hunters I own that I really want to play. Um, but then I thought about it, and it was kind of like a kill two birds with one stone sort of thing, where I was like, okay, I can, um, you know, I can not only play it for this channel, but then I can also freaking uh, play it with my friend. Uh, so it was just, it was a win-win, I guess, in that regard. I'll show you no mercy. Brace yourself! So that's why I uh, ended up getting it again. Humans could learn from you. I'm really looking forward to Monster Hunter World because that's the thing. I've heard that Monster Hunter World is just so different from other Monster Hunters. But here's the thing. I started with Rise. So... <laughs> I started with Rise. So even freaking uh, Generations Ultimate is different from what I'm used to. Um, you know, with Rise. It can run away, that's fine. Sorry, but duty just a little bit more. Thank you for detail. Um run. This should fix But it. yeah, um because I started with Rise, even Generations Ultimate is different from what I'm used to. So like I'm interested to see how much different world is. Because there were a lot of people that um I spoke to at work, because I had a few friends that were like fans of Monster Hunter. But the thing is, is I've learned that when someone says they're a fan of Monster Hunter, usually I am running into the situation where they are literally just fans of World. They've never played any other Monster Hunter. They've, uh, you know, never tried any other Monster Hunter game, never played the old ones. And then when Rise came out, a lot of them um, that I spoke to at work that said that they had played Monster Hunter, they refused to play Rise because they said it didn't look as good as World. Um, now me, I'm not a graphics snob. I love old games. Um, it's like, I love old games. I, uh, I don't really mind playing older games that have, like, older graphics. I don't mind any of that. Um, excuse me. the duty calls. I have this like little mob under here um but yeah it's just it was weird for me to see that a lot of these people just did not want to play uh the likes of rise and it was mostly just because it didn't look like world it wasn't as expansive as world um it looked like it was a lot shorter than world and uh so i don't know i'm actually very interested to try out world and see like how different it is and which one I like better whether I like rise better or I like world better um should be pretty interesting <laughs> but then you have people like Roto who played Monster Hunter World but he actually has a lot of fun with Monster Hunter Rise so I don't know maybe he's just a more rare breed but Ooh, I got two Tigrex tails nice I am not gonna complain about that Man, that coffee got my nose running. I put, I put two shots of espresso in the air, uh, vanilla cold foam, vanilla sweet cream, uh, freaking I don't know what else. <laughs> I just knew it was coffee and that I needed it. Don't forget to eat. All right, so we are gonna take on Diablos next. I don't know. Are you guys picky about your coffee? Because like I know some people that have like their. Uh, their coffee order down to a science, but I'm really just not that type. I'm like, okay, does it taste good? Is it coffee? Is it gonna wake me up? All right, you know, good enough for me. Anyways. All right, Tigrex is down, and we are now on to Diablos. We have eaten, we have picked our quest, and now it is time to depart. The wide plains of the desert are heated battlegrounds. Suddenly, a rumbling, a world-shattering sound. Twin horns split the sand below, no longer earthbound. 
For this is the true ruler of this dry dystopia. Trespassers shall be punished. Protect thy cornucopia. So I know that I mentioned the fight before, but on uh, Monster Hunter Now they had this, um, it was the Drift Smell or whatever, I don't know, it was some event, and um, one of the special monsters was a Black Diablos, which I guess is actually a female Diablos, um, which is in heat, I guess, I don't know. Monster Hunter lore is weird because they're like, yeah, you only run into females during this time and it's usually when it's mating season or... You know, this specific one is a is a, an extremely angry one due to mating season. Like everything is always because it is monster hunter mating season season and it makes me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's just a little weird how they just seem to I mean, obviously they're going off of like nature and how uh, crazy certain creatures act during this time of during that special time. Um, but at the same time, I'm just like, D does it always have to be that way? Is it really necessary? So, we really need, I, well, I really need, I really need these Kimura points because, um, freaking, I've been running low on them. Because I'm, I'm constantly doing, like, the Meow scenarios and the Argosi and stuff, so. It's like, I constantly need Kimura points. I am always short on them. Um, and I know, well, and it's because I don't do, like, half the grinding I did on the Switch, where I had, like, infinite points. Um, no, I don't want the Kuluyaku. I just want my Spirit Birds. Because, honestly, I am, I'm gonna need them. I am going to need them for this fight, for sure. Because Diablos is a pain. But anyways, um, like I was saying, the Black Diablos on Monster Hunter Now, there was really no fight that was giving me that much trouble um, until, until the Black Diablos fight. And when that happened, oh my gosh. Like, it was the worst fight. Uh, it was absolutely the worst fight. Like, it was, it was not fun. Um... Even though I don't have a fire aspected weapon, I just. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this at you. I mean, why not? Why not? I don't like that this is in the corner here. So, Diablos can charge and not only charge, but can go underground. Its tail, heavily armored, um, at the tip. So, you can only hit it from the side. And this is where we run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, that would have been so neat, but I forgot about the tail swing. Ugh. Anyways, um, but yeah, there's an, but there's, uh, but yeah, Black Diablos is a female. These are, these are males, I guess. Um, what was it? There's another desert creature. Um, there's another creature we are introduced to via the desert, which is Basil Goose. Um, some people call it Basil Goose. I don't know. I, For me, it's Basil Goose. Um, and uh, one of my main blast weapons that I use is the seething Basil Goose weapon. That is like my main weapon on the Switch because it because the blast element. But Basil Goose is probably like one of the least fun fights in my opinion um this monster is just ridiculously cheesy in what it's able to do so whoa i didn't know this jump was that big I do wish that our weapon had a lot more sharpness, which, um, I don't think you guys saw it, I don't- I think I cut it out of the last video, but I did actually- whoa! 
Um, I did actually upgrade my weapon and uh, armor. I upgraded the high rank gear because we're actually able to do that now. So my weapon does a little bit more damage, even though it's the same. It's still the champion longsword. Um, and then for my armor, um, it just increased a little bit. Instead of like 68 defense, or I mean 66 defense, I now have 68 defense. It's not like a huge, huge change, obviously. Um, but every little bit helps. And I looked at the other armors because I'm like, you know, I was like, I think we're getting to the point where my high rank armor is like not as useful. Um, but it turns out that's not actually the case. Um, oh, he didn't get blinded. That's kind of stupid. Why can he not? Why can he not get flashed like other monsters? I don't understand. Um, nice. Um, but anyways, uh, so I did upgrade some things. It's really not, it's not a huge upgrade by any means. But like I said, every little bit helps, so. Destructible environments, yes, peace. Oh, in another wall run? Thanks. This'll do for now. Ooh, we broke one of the horns. Nice. That hitbox is so weird. Well, we kept him from digging underground. that was really gonna hit me but we are getting into the more challenging fights as you can see so instead of doing like three monsters per video we probably will end up like doing only like two um some of the videos like i said will probably end up being shorter just because like they don't always have to be 50 minutes long and some for shorter videos anyways it's just that you know i try to cover as much contact content as possible in a short amount of time because i am a busy person so, I was really hoping he would, like, run away by now, but I guess not. I guess he really don't want to, but I also don't want the tail to disappear either, so. I'll help myself, thank you. I wonder if I have time to do this. Oh, no. Damn it. He still tries to, like, slam the ground with his nub. Whoa. I mean, we could just capture him and then I could. I could just do it that way. Over here! Over here! Over here! Give it all you got! It's over! I shall put this to the use. I always hate when they do the like end screens, and I know that there's a way to like spam your menus to get out of it, but I don't know. At the same time, I try not to, and I know that it's a risk capturing a monster if you have to, uh, you know, if you have to freaking uh, carve up the tail, but. So I love how they don't show the monster in the end screen, but if you have a monster part like a tail, they're like, ah, oh, yeah, we'll show that, it's fine. Let's see, dash extract. Nice, sharp fang, Diablo's tail case, nice, and the ridge, okay. New cutscene. Nice. Okay. So there was one quest where I had to go get something, um, it was a gargua egg, um, there, it was two. So I guess I'll just kind of like show what those look like. I always end up talking to this fucking cat. 
I never had that issue with the Switch for some odd reason. I guess like, I guess like the cat just never sat there, or the the angling of the controller was just never, never that odd to me, or whatever. Transfer items. Give me my pit trap back. Give me these back. Um. Do I have everything? Well, I guess rations. Try to keep everything full. Alright, so we went ahead and ate. So we are going to go to the shrine ruins. I love how there's Magna Mallow there. <laughs> it's like, ah oh, yeah, it's fine. Let's just throw a Magna Mallow in there when I'm trying to get a freaking egg. Um. So, with the, um, man, they're all in one spot, okay. So we are going to zone 6 or 13, I think. Um, but yeah, we're going to zone 6 or 13. There is a nest there. Actually, no. Is it one of these? Give me. Give me your egg. Thank you. I, I just need the egg. I... You know what? Sorry, I'll, but um, duty calls. I'll do both. I'll do both. I'll help myself. So, Thank anyways, you. these are Gargua. And I need the egg. Oh, well, never mind. Sometimes they will drop an egg, and that'll help a lot, but obviously, they don't want to be helpful right now. Oh, uh, this is gonna be a pain. Um, so delivering items is definitely not my favorite because it is a very slow process. It is a super slow process. Um, it is not fun. I don't know a single person that finds, uh, these types of quests fun. But yeah. Alright, there is an egg. So yeah, so these guys will drop an egg and then you I can carry it all the way back to the box. Now the thing with Gargua, or the thing with eggs or anything else that you have to like carry is that you literally have to carry it. You cannot ride your Palamute. You cannot do any of that. You can obviously sprint and we can use our wire bugs, but if you fall like, any huge amount, um, like, it'll break. If you roll, it'll break. So, and you're like, why are you jumping? Um, because I can literally just do this and it will not break. And then obviously if a monster attacks you, it'll break. So I think you're, you're getting the gist of it by now. I wonder if we can get up that pathway. Because you can still, like, wall climb and stuff. But the problem is, is I don't know if we have enough stamina to get up that wall. I would hope we have enough stamina to get, off, get up that wall. So I'm gonna... Alright. Let's see. I don't... Oh, that scared me. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Alright, it wouldn't let me use my wire bug, so... We're taking the long way, guys! But yeah, there's a couple different types of eggs, and the thing is, is like, gathering quests really do, like, they depend on um, a lot of factors, including, like, whether or not you're playing in a high rank or a low rank, which can be really frustrating. So, like, there's two types of eggs in this area. There's the Gargoa egg, and then there's the Wyvern egg. And the Wyvern egg is all the way up in zone 11. And so when you have to deliver the Wyvern egg, you literally have to walk, like this, from zone 11 all the way back to base camp. Meanwhile, there are monsters. And so, like, you literally have to plan your route and, like... You have to, like, hide and wait for monsters to pass, and even though you have unlimited time, it's, like I said, it's just one of those things that takes forever. So. 
don't want to like rush this, but at the same time, like, I don't want this to take forever. So we have to walk it all the way up this ridge. And this is me running, by the way. Like, this isn't just walking, because you can see my stamina depleting. Like, this is the run when you're holding the egg. So what you do is you're going to take it back up to the box, and you are going to deliver it. Um, it used to be... It, it used to be that there were two different types of boxes. There was like a red box and a blue box. And I'm speaking more in terms of like Generations Ultimate. But yeah, there used to be um, a red box and a blue box. And you'd have to make deliveries to the red box. And the blue box was for your own personal items or whatever. Alright, so we are going to go back to where we were. And hope that no monsters move into the area anytime soon. Though it looks like the Narga Kuga... Nope. Though it looks like maybe possibly either Bishotten or Magnamalo might. So if we're lucky, one of these, which I think this is the female. Nope. No, come back here, come back here, come back here. Do not disappear. Fuck. Okay. I was really hoping. Um sorry, but duty calls. But uh like I said, if we were lucky, one of them would have dropped an egg, but they didn't. Put this to good use. So, we're gonna have to go up to the next zone and do everything over again, like we did before. Let us move. Gosh, it's so annoying. Although, we are getting some optional subquests done. But anyways, as for what the plan is um, for like these videos and stuff, obviously we have to get through the story. We have to get through like the big bad, um, which is uh, the Wind Serpent Ibushi, and then there's a boss after that too, so we still have a while to go. Alright, there we go. Good enough for me. Um, but yeah... Oh, it looks like Bishotten's gonna come over this way. I hope not. I hope not. I don't want it. I don't want to deal with it. Um. But yeah, um, so we still have some bosses to deal with, but the thing is, is we are now at the point where the bosses have to do with our hunter rank. And so we have to increase our hunter rank um, so that we can get the urgent quests to lead to, um, those final bosses and stuff, so. I probably will be relying on a lot more people's help, um, especially randoms. Ooh! We were just in that section, too, so I am so happy. I'm gonna try and speed this up a little bit. Hopefully not, uh, cause the egg to break, but... This is one way to cheese the egg thing, is you can literally just use your wire bugs, kind of just travel. But you have to be careful not to aim them too high, because otherwise, you know, you can roll and break the egg. So, um, but yeah, the goal at this point is just to increase my hunter rank, kind of go on random things. Um, while I want to do the cutscenes with my friends, and, or while I want to increase my hunter rank with my friends... The only problem is, is, my friends, you know, we obviously like to goof off, and I really just want to present this game as, like, I can't say authentically as possible, and I can't even say as seriously as possible, but, um, I really do want to, like, really let the cutscenes sink in and stuff, and if my friends are on Discord, then that would just kind of be, it would be hard to do. Um, I really haven't figured out how to kind of make it so that my friends don't show up via the game audio. Um, cause I could just play with them and like not have them on Discord to where you can't hear them, but I don't know. At the same time, I haven't figured out how to do that yet, so that makes things a little hard. Making good progress. Alright, so Making we have officially gone and, uh, delivered the Gargoa eggs, which is what I wanted. Is there a relic we weapon up there? I wonder. Hmm. I wonder if there's one on top of that arch. I recently found one which is like at the very tippy top, like, section 
Um, excuse you? I recently found one that was like at the very tippy top uh, shrine of this area, which was pretty cool. Is there a way? There we go. I was like, I know that there's a way to like get up there. So I wonder. It looks like there is. So, I want up here. Well, there's a rock lizard. Give me you. Or a boulder lizard. Oh. I would have thought that there was a relic record up here. But I guess not. Weird. Is there one in the middle section, maybe? No? Hmm. Odd. Um. But yeah, my friends obviously, like, really like to goof off. Which isn't a bad thing. Um, but like I said, I like to save those for, like, separate types of videos. Um, just kind of, like, as their own thing. Um, whereas I want to present this, like, a little bit more seriously, um, since I'm showcasing the game and stuff. Um, so that's kind of, like, my main, I guess you could call it qualm with, uh, playing with my friends. Um, and then... I don't even know how else really to put it other than that. Um, so, like I said, I'll probably will be relying on a lot of randoms, especially when it comes to the Wind Serpent Ibushi. And the thing is, is like I've always played with my friend Roto, um, but the problem with that is he does only play on console, and unfortunately, Rise just isn't crossplay, which has caused us a lot of uh, caused us a lot of issues. It is really sad because, um, like I said, I would. I would love to be able to play with this with him, um, but unfortunately that's just not not really something that is possible. That's one down. But yeah, um, so it will probably be a little bit slower going. Now here's the thing, I know that there's a relic record that exists on a tree, but I forget where on the tree. Either that, or it was a platform you could only, like, access via a tree. But no, I swear it was it was actually on the tree. Like, I don't know. I, I'm, I, I know I'm not tripping. Like, there is a relic record that exists on the tree. But I forget where on the tree. And, like, it makes me nervous... Oh no. Ah! But I know it's like, it's an overhanging tree, like, just like that one. See? I'm not tripping. Like, there's something on that tree, isn't there? Like, is there binoculars? Like, is there, like... Hold on. I want to look up at that tree, but it's not really letting me. No, that's just the tree trunk. It's just the way it looks. I was to say, I was like, I know I'm not tripping. Like, I know that there's one, there's one relic record, and I forget which one it is. But I know that it's an overhanging tree. It is a huge overhanging tree, like that one. And, like, you need it because there is, like, a relic record lodged in the tree somewhere. And, like, it might not be that tree. It might be a different tree. But I swear, there is one that is on a tree. And, like, it blends in so well that you can't normally see it. But I'm not going to sit there and climb the same tree and, like, try and figure it out right now. But eventually my goal is to get all the relic records. I might just do that after I end this video. Um, since it would take me a while to kind of, like, remember where they're at, look them up, go find them. Um, while I could show it in a video, I just, I don't really... I don't know, I don't really feel like that would be, since I've already found some of them, I don't really feel like that would be interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much the uh, the goal from here on out, is kind of like, like I said, I really need to focus on getting better weapons, like elemental affinity weapons, because that is really just where I'm struggling right now, is I've been using the champion longsword, and the thing is, it's like it does the trick, like don't get me wrong, it does the trick. Um, but my issue with that is really just, um, I prefer to use elemental affinity weapons. Um, 
I really like to just focus on those, especially like blast weapons. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. I told you, I wasn't kidding. I wasn't making it up. There it is. Jesus. Whew. All right. Anyways, <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to climb that tree again. And then I was like, never mind. Yes, I am. Because I know I'm not making this up. Like, I know that there's a relic record, like, somewhere near there. Whew. Oh, man. Um, Roto thought I was crazy for going after all the relic records. He's like, man, you are such a completionist. And I tried to tell him it, it's not about... It's really not about being a completionist. Like, it has nothing to do with that. It's just, I think they're neat. Like, um, yeah, in insert Marge Simpson meme. Um, like, I just think they are really, really cool. Um, because they, they give you, like, a lot of lore about, like, the realm of the gods and stuff. And I just think it's really cool. Like, that's stuff you don't really get to see. Two unique mushroom colonies? interesting you know and like i said it's it's not only that it gives you some interesting lore to look at but um you know it really just like it just deepens the level like i love doing level exploration i love finding hidden secrets um it's what i really loved about like collectathon games that's why i loved games like alice madness returns where you could find like all those uh hidden lore bits um it's what I loved about Banjo-Kazooie and collecting all the jiggies and stuff. Like, there's just something to love about that type of uh, exploration and whatnot. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm, like I said, it's, it's something a lot of people like, so I know I'm not, I know I'm not totally crazy. Um, I wonder if I can get over there. Probably not. Um, but yeah. Oh, here's a nest. Is this a gar gargua nest? Oh, I can't even access it. Okay. Never mind then. What is this? Ooh, Bishotten material. A major step nice. Forward. I'll take it. Um. But yeah, so that is, um. That is my weakness, is anything with, like, any sort of collectible ever. It's like, if you really want to know what sort of thing I like, then I love collectible games. I love games where you can just explore the levels, find a whole bunch of hidden secrets. Oh my gosh! Look at that! Woo! And plus, like, collecting the relic records gives you, um, items for your house. And that's the thing. I love games where you can not only create your own character, but you can also just, uh, freaking decorate your house. I don't know, there's like, I love decorating, I love building, that's why, um, like I said, I love games like, uh, freaking, I love Minecraft, um, freaking, huh, it's like I love Minecraft, I love collectathon games, I love platformers with, like, secret areas, and, you know, it's not really about achievements, because you gotta think, games like Banjo-Kazooie, up until, like, the rare replay and stuff, when they when Microsoft bought it and they started releasing all that onto Xbox and whatnot, before all that, um, there wasn't uh, there wasn't achievements in games like that. You know, you didn't you didn't actually get any achievement points for things like that. So you know, it was never really about the achievements. It was more just about the the feeling, I guess, of personal accomplishment. Um, because you had found something that maybe other people had not found before. So there was just something really, really cool about that. So you get more materials if you just stab these things, which is really funny because I didn't know that. I didn't know that until this, uh, this playthrough that you could just stab them. I just kind of like accidentally did it one time and was like, okay. Um, let's see, I wanna go this way. Oof. Oh yeah, and I still have to slay a bunch of stuff. This leads up to the mushroom place. I think I've already been to that gate over there. 
it, but there's only one way to know. This is obviously a place where I can rest. I might have been pushing it a little bit too much. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, I've already been to that gate over there. Um, but yeah, no, achievements really do help nowadays. Like, I don't know if- I don't know why achievements are so addicting, though. Like, I already got the relic record over there. Um, I don't know why achievements are so addicting, though. I remember, uh, thinking to myself that Nintendo would do well to start adding achievements because they are just- they are so addicting. And it feels like they're really just not capitalizing on something that they really could, like- do a lot with. Um, but part of me is kind of thankful for that because I found that I enjoy games a lot differently when there's not achievements. I feel like I kind of like over obsess when it comes to games that have achievements. Oh, this is my sub camp. I should have been paying attention. I feel like I kind of like over obsess with games that have achievements because I obviously want the achievements. And I end up thinking like, less about the game itself and more um i start thinking more in terms of like i kind of pick games based on do i think these achievements are doable which is really sad because i, I feel like you shouldn't that's not what you should base a game off of so like when i start playing a game like that has achievements one of the first things i'll do is i'll i'll see if they have, um, if they have certain achievements. I'll, like, go to the achievements page and I'll be like, okay, what, what are the goals for this game? And what's crazy is, like, that ends up spoiling a bit of the game for me because sometimes the achievements are literally named after chapters or they tell you about certain bosses. And so, like, it can actually ruin an experience or it can spoil an experience because now you're thinking about the achievement and you're not really thinking and you're... Like I said, you're kind of spoiling the game for yourself. Um, hmm. Let's see. I don't think you can get up there. Oh, you can. Have I already been up here? Excuse me. Oh, I've already been up here, I guess. Hmm. Can you get up there? No. Okay. But, um... But yeah, so it's just like, it's one of those things where it's like, when there's games that I can play without achievements, then I enjoy them a lot more because I'm not like Another looking to get those achievements. I'm just looking to play the game and experience it as uh, fully as possible as it is. So. So that wasn't really bad. Okay, so we delivered two Gargwa eggs, and on top of that we got a lot of uh, Kimura points. Likewise, um, we can we finished some of our optional quests. It's a good day for a hunt. It is a good day for a hunt. So we delivered the two Gargwa eggs, which then makes up for the egg hammer design. Um, and yeah, we found two relic records to boot. Oh, you. I gave Master Hammond the eggs you delivered. He was pretty sure. pleased. I still can't believe it, but he actually went and made the egg hammer. Uh -huh. An egg hammer. Apparently some other region already did it first. Too bad. Guess it wasn't so new and original after all. But to think someone actually else had the crazy idea. Anyways, if you want one, you know where to get one now. Alright, so now we have the egg hammer Later. design. All right, so we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Like I said, there are a ton of other quests that we could do, but really those are just extras. They're all monsters that we've already fought before. Um, so I don't really think they're important um, for a video because it's not really for progression's sake. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I have enjoyed making them. Um, leave a like if you enjoy these videos and if you want to see more. And feel free to leave me a comment. Um, have you ever gone after the relic records? Is this something that you've uh, ever uh, gone and done? And on the terms of achievements, what do you think about achievements? Do you think that games without achievements are 
um, better or games with achievements are better? Do you think Nintendo should add these sorts of things to games? These are just kind of like some interesting questions that I feel like I would like some opinions on just because, like I said, I feel like there's good points to it and bad points to it. But yeah, thank you guys so much again, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, ciao you guys.